China has made history successfully landing on what has been up until now the unexplored far side of the moon. Well, the Chang'e probe, Ford probe, touched down early this morning in the largest, deepest, oldest crater on the moon's surface and beam back this image. Well, the mission aims to better understand the moon's terrain and mineralogy. Well, someone who has been following this closely is our space reporter, Jeremy Wilkes, and he joins me now in the studio. Good morning, Jeremy. Hello. Um, so, to coin a slightly overused phrase, but uh, this is a giant leap for space exploration, isn't it? Is, it is, isn't it? It's extraordinary, and it's fantastic that they actually achieved this. We didn't really know quite when it was going to happen. It was confirmed then this morning. Changi 4 has touched down on the far side of the moon. It's going to be doing an awful lot of science there. It's a great place to be doing science because nobody's ever been to the far side of the moon before it's different to the side that we see um, in difference in terms of the minerals that are there etc the radiation environment is different there's a German experiment to look at that on board and they've also got a rather curious experiment that's uh, got some potato seeds and some silkworm eggs uh, inside a little container in a controlled environment and they're going to see if they can actually start to, to maybe germinate and start to kind of create some kind of habitat inside this container so really fascinating science and earlier you were showing me using two of my makeup compacts that but, um, we refer to this sometimes as the dark side of the moon, but it isn't. It's not dark, no. I mean, as you saw from the photo, there's plenty of daylight there. They get just as much daylight as everywhere else. If you look, look, at, it, look at graphics or maybe at home, get two objects, one large round. And they have a plan to have a crewed mission uh, there, to, so to send men and women there to the surface of the moon, maybe even build some kind of base on this part of the moon, on the far side of the moon, and carry out science research. So it's really, you know, a, a new kind of space not necessarily race, but a rush, really, to, to move forward in terms of exploration. The Chinese have made a big statement with this.